whenever you're about to download any software you'll mostly see two options 32-bit and 64-bit many of us ignore it nowadays and just download 64-bit version because all the newer processors are 64-bit but have you ever wondered what does it really mean well let's find out in this video let's first understand what is a bit bit is short for binary digit one bit is single value of either zero or one in binary two bits can hold up to four values and eight bit can hold 16 binary digits which is equal to one byte but let's not get lost in the mathematical world so all the fuss about 32 bit and 64 bit started back in 2003 when amd launched their first 64 bit cpu and not too long ago apple also launched their first 64 bit phone which was iphone 5s but what exactly is it? Simply 64-bit processor is more capable than 32-bit processor because it can handle more memory. 64-bit processor is capable of storing more values which means it is capable of handling a lot more RAM than 32-bit processor. As 32-bit is 2 raised to power of 32 which means it supports and handles maximum 4 GB of memory. While 64-bit can handle up to 16 exabyte or 16 billion GB of RAM which is a large number. So we can say that it is sort of infinite, not technically, but you get what I mean. And it is also a reason why we don't see 128-bit CPU because it is not needed. So 32-bit process is slower because first data needs to be sent from hard drive to RAM and then CPU. Hard drives are pretty slow so the more data RAM can process and send to CPU at any given time, the more calculation CPU will be able to perform. So having lower RAM forces your system to keep data in slow hard drives. But in case of 64-bit, because there is memory available, so CPU is able to perform more calculations. That's why 64-bit systems are faster. But if you have 2GB of RAM running 64-bit CPU, your system won't be able to help in this regard. And you won't feel any difference whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit CPU. And of course, your operating system should also be 64-bit to take advantage of 64-bit CPU. In fact, to take full advantage, your OS and software or application you're running, should also be 64-bit. So if you have good memory, I would suggest to use 64-bit software unless it doesn't have 64-bit version because all the modern CPUs are 64-bit and that's why in Windows you see two program files one with x86 which also represents 32-bit x86 program files is for 32-bit software and program files without x86 is for 64-bit applications. So this is it for this one and see you guys in the next video.